I felt like I was failing fitness and then I realized fitness was failing me and that's why I created Bar 3. My husband and I came up with this idea of Bar 3. We were at the top of our game, seemingly, and yet we felt empty. And we decided to just stop everything. We actually sold our house on Craigslist, and we put all that money to a dream job. So I am sitting in our first official production space. I built this space to connect with people. Uh, both online, but also uh, I plan to have community classes in here and to extend our offering to be more than just exercise, but other ways to connect, like a great book club or a tea party or a farm-to-table dinner. Behind me is my headquarters. We get to use this space. Next door to me is our Bar 3 Williams studio, and it's one of six studios here in Portland that we own. I grew up going to art schools, and I always danced and I was around a ballet bar a lot. Uh, later, when I was 18, I started teaching group exercise. I discovered bar, the bar space, along the way, and I really loved it because it brought back the ballet bar and the posture and grace you get from it. So I started teaching while attending UCLA, and those early years were amazing. I caught the bug, I loved it. Um, it really became my thing. I ended up running the fitness instructor training program at the John Wooden Center. I thought that was maybe what I was gonna do, run fitness programs and group exercise for college kids. Uh, then right out of grad school, I landed a job with a fitness company, and you know, my path changed. So when I first started teaching, I felt like found exactly what was right for me. It felt completely authentic, exciting. I think what I loved the most about it was this kind of collective wisdom that happened in the room when you get a bunch of people that want to exercise together and that group energy. I mean, I call it like group exercise utopia. I realized I wanted to be more than a group exercise instructor right off the bat because I liked um, more than just teaching, I liked the industry. At school I landed a job with 24 Hour Fitness. We had 50 gyms at the time and I thought maybe I'd stay there for two years, kind of learn the business. I ended up staying there for 10 years and helped grow the company from 50 gyms to over 430 globally. I worked directly for the founder and CEO, Mark Mastrov, and really learned the business. I had a big aha working in this big fitness chain and growing it. Um, as the fitness industry was booming, I'm a leader, an executive leader for this fitness company. My own health was declining. I didn't feel like I fit in that culture, in that um, environment. And then I had this aha that maybe I wasn't failing fitness, maybe fitness was failing me. A lot of fitness for me was attached to an ideal of beauty and looking a certain way. Um, and I consciously made a decision to create Bar 3 around, instead of being attached to an ideal, being committed to real. My vision for my life as an entrepreneur was to have a decision committee of one and do what was right for me and build and constantly create something that I was aspirational. You know, always push myself, always, you know, never settle and just do what I love. Balance and my overall health um, was central to my decision to start my own fitness company and I, I very much am my own client. I always have been. I insert myself fully into the products and services of Bar 3. In fact, everything that I create is basically I'm scratching my own itch. I checked people in, washed the windows, my husband held babies, I mean in childcare. We did everything, which was a tremendous physical, you know, undertaking. Like most startups, you know, I think my biggest challenge is taking that leap of like over extending myself for a while to train new people to come in and teach classes. So it's really interesting because I've learned, I've learned so much about business. Starting your own company, you learn so much about yourself and you learn along the way. I, I felt like an imposter for a while there. Like who am I to be running this giant company? You know, that feeling of self-doubt and what am I doing um, would start, you know, start to creep in with me and as we got bigger um, my biggest challenge is staying purpose driven because I started so purpose driven teaching all the classes you know just pouring my heart and soul into the product and services and then I grew my teens 
and then we started to franchise, and then things, you know, it just got, it got big. And I had, have a wonderful team of people who all started as clients and help, are now helping me run the company. And I came to a point where we got as big as we are now where all of us suddenly absolutely needed structure. And it was time to look outside of bar three and to find people to come and tell me what to do. It was a super healthy turning point. If I hadn't see, looked outside of myself to find some amazing consultants and peers to help me, I don't think I would be where I am right now. So it feels pretty magical to be sitting here at this point in my journey. It's like winning the lottery to actually create a job that you love and that other people love. My proudest accomplishment is that we are, Bar 3 is as big as it is with 100 locations, our online workouts, um, I think in over 60 countries people are doing it, an amazing digital magazine where we're, you know, we're creating all this amazing content. Um, so I've, on the surface it looks like we're this really big company, but I think my proudest accomplishment is it's very intimate. My dream for the future of Bar 3 is that we continue to evolve the idea of B3, and that's my logo. It's the B and the three wrapped together, and it's, it's an expression of be balanced, be boundless, be bright, and really looking at fitness as whole body health. Dreams I have for me as an entrepreneur in my future is to just continue being a student, to continue to find ways to cultivate a love of learning and growing professionally, I surround myself with people who feed me, who nourish me, who continue to challenge my intellect and push me to really realize my potential. The best part of taking this journey for me has been that I am surrounded by the most incredible people. I mean, I am so completely blessed.